What's good guys, Max Forte with another video. Today it's going to be, as you saw, fragrances that I like better than the original, AKA flankers. I did a video for you guys, I wanna say, back in July, it's been that long. And on that video, you guys asked me to do part two and continue the flankers, you know, that I like more, better than the original. So show me on the like if you guys want to see a part three, part four, and continuations of this flankers video. If you guys wanna know which flankers that I'm featuring in this video that I love better than the original, stick around. They're coming up next. Welcome back to my fragrance video. Today is all about flankers that I like better than the originals that they were modeled after. So what is a flanker? I answered that back in July when I did part one, which is basically a continuation of an original fragrance. For example, Dolce & Gabbana the one, Dolce & Gabbana the one Eau de Parfum, Dolce & Gabbana the one Intense. So it's continuations of that one fragrance which captures that DNA, that scent character, and adds perhaps a little something here or there, amplify a note, amplify the amber or the spices, making a um, more intense, stronger, as the name imply, of that particular fragrance without losing its character. That to me is a perfect flanker. And today, I'm gonna show you guys five flankers that I absolutely love, that I'm enamored with, even more than the original that I actually love. All right, so let's kick things off. These are in no particular order. I love these a lot. I love them more than I like the originals for a reason. And starting things off here with this one right here, which is Boss Bottled Intense. Uh, this happens to be the EDT version that dropped in 2015. The original Boss Bottled was actually released in 98. What I love about this one is performance. I understand the original Boss Bottle has been reformulated many times. This one here has captured that green apple up top and Nick Mornardo with great nose. This is going to be that spicy cinnamon green apple with a little bit of amber and spices in the heart into the dry down. Just a great fragrance, it smells amazing. It's one that is a compliment monster. Ladies do love this, the smell of this stuff for one re reason or another. It's one that is a fragrance that captures people's attention and gets really good compliments. Hence the fact that it always makes my top affordable list for like back to school or affordable fall lists. Many lists out there from fragrance reviewers for a reason. This is a great fragrance and I believe that the intense version makes things or intensify things even a little more. Next up we have 2015 release, which is this one right here, Bulgari Man in Black, which is a flanker to the original release in 2010, Bulgari Man, which is basically a vetiver aromatic fragrance with a beautiful fruity pear up top. But nevertheless, it's going to be more of a citrus aromatic scent with that woodsy vetiver at the dry down. Very easy to wear, great for office or day wear. But this one here just made things more interesting to me. Bulgarian Men in Black is going to be a woody spicy at its finest with tobacco. Uh, there's a note of whiskey in here. I mean, it's just divine. This stuff here is just incredible. Oh, it's so good. It's boozy, it's tobacco, it's spicy. It has everything I love in a fragrance for the time of the year right now with fall and winter. It is reminiscent of Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf, but I like this one better because it's boozy and Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb is not boozy at all. The whiskey here just gives that extra oomph and edge that I love in my fragrance. Tobacco and boozy and spices, this guy is just amazing. In 2015, a flanker that you should not dismiss. If you like flankers or if you like flankers that are better than the original, definitely check this one out. Speaking of revamps that do not lose the character, you know, the, the scent DNA, this next year just blew my mind. It was released in 2019 originally, but I didn't get to try it until, you know, early this year. And it's just, it's one of my favorite releases from the designer uh, end of things. This is going to be a flanker to the original Cartier or Pasha de Cartier that was originally released in 1992, which that fragrance is going to be a barbershop fougere, again, vetiver, oak moss. A little bit tired these days. I still love the fragrance, but I understand it's going to be more old fashioned, if you will. And this one here just made things so much nicer, guys. This is spicy. It also has this boozy component. Speaking of boozy, just like I spoke here, it's just so good. It's creamy, it's inviting, it's got sandalwood, all the spices that I talked about. It retained the fougere aspect to the fragrance, but it added these amazing facets like the booziness that I'm talking about. There's a little bit of a benzoin resinous vanilla at the dry down. It's a little bit sweet. There's perhaps a little bit of tonka in here. It's like modern meets classic to perfection, guys. This stuff here is a masterpiece from 2019. Pache de Cartier, Eau de Parfum. Don't snooze on this one, guys. Now this next one here has big shoes to fill. I'm talking about 
a one of the most groundbreaking fragrances of the 80s and into the 90s was probably one of the top you know worn fragrances from guys i'm talking about dior fahrenheit the original edt which is groundbreaking trendsetter you know all the adjectives and synonyms of a great masterpiece that fragrance possesses and this is another one that doesn't get much talks here but this to me is a modern day masterpiece i'm talking about dior fahrenheit le parfum granted this is a little hard to find but if you look careful enough you'll be able to find it. at the end of this video i'll have a little surprise for you and the place where you can find this and this particular fragrance here to me is a masterpiece i have a couple bottles it is on the pricier side and for a reason it almost smells like a niche fragrance it took the violet leaf uh leathery petroleum vibe that you get with the original dior fahrenheit from 87 and added these incredible leathery um boozy there's a vanilla bourbon in here also has the violet leaf but it took that dna to the next level given these really powerful and just pragmatic um, components and elements of this fragrance. I love this stuff. This is a compliment monster for me. I mean, it's like fall in the bottle. Look at the colors. It reminds me of the fall leaves and stuff. Always makes my top, you know, fall, winter, you know, pickups because it is just that, a modern masterpiece, guys. Don't snooze in this fragrance. It is perhaps one of the best releases over the past few years. It was released in 2014. When it comes to designer, this is an incredible release and one that if you have a nose that's always looking for something off the beaten path, something that you're not going to normally find at your everyday store, this is one that you want to check out. Fahrenheit Le Parfum from 2014. Last but not least, another fragrance that had big shoes to fill, especially when you look at fragrances and flankers over the past few years that are very redundant. I think Jean-Paul Gaultier did a fantastic job with this flanker, which is a flanker to the ever-popular and just timeless classic, which is Le Mall, the original released in 1995 by master perfumer Francis Kirchner. Now we're talking about the 2020 release, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mall Le Parfum. Now this has a very near and dear, uh, you know, emotion attached to this fragrance because it is a fragrance that I wore this past September commemorating my anniversary with my wife. And I got a lot of um, compliments for people, you know, granted this doesn't project as much as the original Le Mall did, but it lasts a long time. This is a Eau de Parfum release. It has a really nice, powerful to the fragrance. It will stay in your immediate surrounding. It will give you a great sillage, especially if you spray your clothes. And I love the smell of this stuff. It's like, you know, a almost boozy, spicy vanilla with this dark licorice. Very unique, not for everyone. I think it's definitely the more mature of all the malls. And the funny thing is when you look at the brief from Jean-Paul Gaultier, they say, you know, the sailor has graduated into the captain. That's exactly how I view this fragrance as the original Le Mall, even Outre Mall, which by the way is now being discontinued, are more playful and youthful fragrances. This is going to be a more boss type of a scent, more in control or mature, but not in an old fashioned type of way, but mature in a way that you now know what you want from life and what do you like to wear. And this stuff here it still has the DNA, the vanilla, the mint and, and the lavender in the background, but it's surrounded by these really spicy and dark components that really makes this for a standout release from 2020. Definitely in my favorite top 10, if not maybe top five favorite releases of 2020 so far. And we're almost getting closer to the end of the year. So check out my, my top releases of 2020, top discoveries. This is definitely going to make the top, guys. So amazing flanker right here. And of course, you can try any of these flankers and other amazing flankers or new releases or discontinued jams or hard to find jams at myfragrancesamples.com. Of course, if you want to try it before you buy it, or if you want to procure a bottle of these fragrances, you can also check out my other partner, fragrancebuy.ca Canadian yes but ships very fast to the US and incredible pricing and I have two great amazing offers for you guys Black Friday the time you're watching this video is actually Black Friday today so both myfragrancesamples.com has a Black Friday 30 discount which is unprecedented we've never had this discount before which will give you guys 30% at checkout. So this code from myfragrancesamples.com, Black Friday 30 ends on Cyber Monday at midnight. So don't miss out. And of course, fragrancebuy.ca has an incredible saving right now for you guys. Very simple, very easy, not confusing, easy for you guys. They put together a code which is a BOGO, buy one, get one 25% off. So already at incredible discount prices, you're gonna be able to get two fragrances and the BOGO is continuously, you can get two, four, six, no matter how many fragrances you put in your bag, 
the second of equal or lesser value, you're gonna get 25% off on top of discounted prices, guys. Again, all details, information, door crashers, all the good stuff that we know from, from fragrancebuy.ca, I will link below in the description so you guys can check it out. But all the codes, all the information for all these fragrances, also in the description for you guys, as always. Trying to make your life a little bit easier. So that's all I have for you guys today in this Flankers video part two. If you guys do enjoy this Flankers type of video, you wanna see a part three, a part four, leave me a like. I wanna make sure this video hits at least 1,000K likes. You guys can do this for me, guys. It doesn't cost anything. A second every day really makes mine. Subscribe for a lot more. Turn the notification bell icon so you get videos like these straight into your feed. And as always, remember, fragrance is emotion, emotion. So where, I'm gonna go with this guy today. What truly moves you? See you guys real soon. Take care.